Paso Zoo. It is Zoo and Aquarium a Month, and to tell us uh, what the zoos and aquariums do here to help with conservation efforts is Leviana Baca, an education specialist at the Education Center at the El Paso Zoo. Thank you for joining us, Leviana. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It is Zoo and Aquarium Month, and it's a great time for you, El Paso, to bring your families to the El Paso Zoo. Now, a lot of people come to the El Paso Zoo, obviously, to see uh, the animals with their families, but it's not just about entertaining people and get, letting them learn about the animals. What are zoos doing to help animals out in the wild? Well, uh, zoos have evolved over the years, and they continue to evolve. So while we now focus on animal welfare, conservation, and education, um, they are entertainment centers for other uh, people. But all those things come together in a unique way and help us do the work of conservation, which we're not doing just by ourselves. We're in partnerships with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, um, some other rescue groups and rehabilitation groups nearby, other conservation programs, not just the, um, in the El Paso area, but throughout the world. Which were, are some of those animals that are being saved from extinction thanks to zoos like the El Paso Zoo? Well, we do have an active program right now with our wolves and you can learn more in the Chihuahuan Desert exhibit we are actively participating in returning the wolves to the wild we also have an area where we have um, Przalski horses and we call them pea horses and they are actively being returned to the wild where their numbers are diminishing I think my favorite thing about conservation efforts at the El Paso zoos and zoos around the world is seeing the babies the babies come out of these conservation conservation effort. Yes, uh, it's always a joy when we are successful in adding to the population. Some of the programs I mentioned, we're returning the newborns to the wild um, in a slow process, but it's something that happens. But we consider it a victory because in the in the wild people will not be able to see them so they have a chance here at the El Paso Zoo to see them learn more about them and figure out how they can contribute in their own way to save a species all right thank you lady Anna. and if you want more information on how you can help or how the El Paso Zoo is helping with conservation efforts visit ktsm.com